Bogdanovic. My break here has broken. Pull back. Yeah. And St. Pat's defend it well, and Brockbank sends it away. Brilliant defending. We're just going to we'll see it here. Begovic, Begovic gets, gets the ball in. Lorbeck goes, goes through, puts it across the box. And Brockbank makes the challenge. Don't know if he gets the ball. Oh, Sheen. I, oh, he doesn't. Daku, it should have been a penalty. Daku. Adam O'Reilly spotted Cotter. Cotter, look at his skill, the fullback. Cotter inside the door. So close. Well, I think it might be a corner kick. Doyle isn't protesting. Moura are, and I think it's because a corner kick has been awarded. Look at this acceleration from Barry Cotter down the right-hand side. Brilliant play, ring play, great ball across. Fantastic defending to put that out. But this is what you want from your wing back, getting by the full back really, really easily and putting balls into the box like that. Owned oil feed will, look, will feed off those type of balls all day long. Great defending by Sipo. Forrester stands it up nicely. Redmond, Cotter! So, so close, he missed a sitter last week. That's not what you'd call a sitter, but it was a good chance. I'd call it worse, Ushin. Really? Is, yeah, absolutely. The ball is three yards, four yards out. It's a great ball in by Forrester. Joe Redmond gets up from the back. He has to score. Oh, yeah. He when you has look, to look, score. Yeah, when you look back at it like that, should have done better. He gets in a wonderful position. And he's heading it. He, I think he, he's... Thinking. Against NS. And they hope not to be caught by a soccer punch. That sits up nicely. Daku, great save by Anang. Fantastic save by Anang. Communication there between Gravossi and, and Anang was really, really poor. Daku jumped in ahead of both of them. Got a shot away. And you fancy him there now in that situation to put the ball in the back of the net. But Joe Anang stands up really, really well. Palms it away. Well, the Pats players seemed to stop and Daku kept going. Now, it was not a particularly great finish, but it's still a great save from Anang. He gets such power in the strike, but he has to score from where he is. He's killed that ball, stone dead. That's fantastic work. Captain onto it now. Decent looking cross. Pats have plenty of bodies back there, but Daku off the woodwork. Afraid. A couple of the defenders there were afraid to make a tackle on Daku because he was in the area and we've seen already that he should have had a penalty. Great hold-up play to, to hold off Gravotzi. Lennon and Gravotzi then jump in. Kovic lost it, Forrester. O'Reilly made the run in behind. Can he get the shot away? The answer is yes. Oh, it was so close. It was King rather than O'Reilly, but it was very, very close. Great play again by St. Pat's. Counter-attacking play was absolutely superb. Chris Forrester holding on to the ball for as long as he can to let Billy King get forward. Great play, goes by Sipo very easily, drills it across goal, and Cotter just can't get it. Cotter's in the first half, probably still the best. They might get one here. King, O'Reilly's running in behind. King teeing himself up, and he should have passed. It's easy to say it now, I know. Daku takes advantage of a slip. Shavin Haxhaj. Cotter gets back to stop him. Shavin Haxhaj does well. They appeal for a penalty. And they haven't got it. Oh, she, that's another penalty. It's another definite penalty. And they're calling for Daku now. The fact that he's gone down for a second yellow card and they're screaming for it. But I think they, they're being a massive let off yet again. Shavin Haxhaj with a wonderful ball through. Looks like he stuck out his leg. Let's have a better look at it here. He's taken him down. Let's have a look. This is the behind angle. Look at his back foot. No. No, he still should be sent off. I got that completely wrong. Cotter. Good ball to Atakai. Turn Sipo. A bit of a heavy touch. Just allowed the mirror defender to get in there. And now they'll go on the counter attack. Just gets away from Puka or from uh, Daku, I beg your pardon. Well, the yellow card, I'm not quite sure why. It was something off the ball, perhaps. We might see a replay again. These pictures being come. It's a red card. It looks like Maruska. It's only just coming on the pitch. Well, we may or may not see a replay again. The TV pictures tonight, controlled by Slovenian TV.
Okay. Yeah, so Forrester obviously has a little clip. Nobody sees it. Nothing in it. And Marusco does the exact same back to him. And is obviously caught doing it and gets sent off. Well, I know I've gone on about karma an awful lot tonight, but Mark Doyle was sent off for nothing last week. He's sus suspended tonight, so Pats will argue, you know what? You got a slice of luck last week. We're getting a slice of luck this week. Well, that's what Marusco is trying to say to him. He, he, he's telling him, there, look, he, he gave me a little, little clip around the air and I was just giving him one back. Oof. I think Anang might have got something on that. The danger not gone yet. Now it is. There's still only 21, Adam O'Reilly. Hard to believe. He's a lot of football under his belt. Forrester tries to find Doyle. Nods it down for Timmermans. Oh, flash wide. So close. That's so unfortunate. Timmermans only on the pitch. About 15, 20 minutes. He's done really well since he's come on. I had a go at him there for a square pass. But great little ball in by, by Forrester. Head back to Owen Doyle. That's inches wide by Timmermans. Sligo Rovers are going to go through. There's still a question mark about St. Patrick's Athletic because we are going to extra time. And Nang with the save. And somehow Pats get it off the line and Kleepak completely miscues. Schroeder wants it back outside, but Kleepak tries to turn Gravosti. Still Kleepak going. And Anang makes another fine save. It's an absolute let off for St. Patrick's Athletic in the opening stages of extra time. Well, here's the first one. Anang with the save. Breslin blocking from Morris. Excellent defending by Anto Breslin in that situation there. He comes off the post. Doyle has his hand up in the hope that somebody else is going to get it. Schroeder trying to get away from Timmermans. Schroeder does really well. Kleepak's in front of him, but there's two or three red jerseys between him and Kleepak. He's avoided two of them. Schroeder pulls it back. Here's Kleepak. It's another fine save from Anang. That is a sensational save by Joseph Anang. Well, here is that Kleepak chance. Schroeder did brilliantly. Anang did even better. It's a wonderful save. As I said, he does have to score. Redmond does very well. He blocks the other side of the goal, which makes Anang's decision to go that side much easier. You're sitting in. Ronan Coughlin. Atakai. Doyle's inside. He goes himself. And Doyle is really, really frustrated because all he had to do was square it. It's, again, such poor decision-making in the final third from, from St. Pat's. Great play by them to get into that position. Serge Atakoy, his name up in lights. All he has to do is square the ball for Owen Doyle for a simple... It rebounds around, falls to Cotter. Back to Atakai. Can't keep his shot down. And we are going to penalties. Shootout penalty cannot change your mind. Pick your spot as you walk up. Focus on the penalty and put it away. This is worth so much for St. Patrick's Athletic, this shootout. But Doyle has to put all of that out of his mind. All he should be thinking about now is scoring this penalty. And I'm sure that's all he is thinking about. Yes, Doyle scores it. Straight down the middle, very clever. I always believe that in a f the, the first penalty in a penalty shootout, the keeper will dive. Nine times out of ten, they'll dive for, ev dive for every one. Straight down the middle. So hopefully Anang will... Anang, who's been excellent in play tonight. What's he going to be like during penalties? Bob Mechanic scores. Does the same as Owen Doyle. Realised that Anang was going to go down. Probably had looked at his penalty from the weekend. There's two penalties. And just goes down the middle. Calmly taken penalty from the stand-in skipper. Wait for the keeper to move and put them in. It'll be interesting to see what he does here. Cochran to put Pats in front. Which he does. Cool as you like. And that's what you like to see, someone with that confidence. 
in front of goal in such a pressure game to be able just to do something like that last season he's missed it St. Pat's lead and he's not as prolific tonight from 12 yards he tries to go high his first taste of European football this season he's done remarkably well Cotter skies us just lean back a little bit it's those type of penalties where you make those run-ups and you're start running on the spot I don't understand it don't understand why you can't just run up and take a penalty and blast it And every aspect of Cotter, except in front of goal, has been impressive for St. Pat so far. That's a perfect penalty. Again, that was the type of run-up he did on Sunday. I was, I was wondering whether he was going to do it again. And he did, and nonchalant as he like. And I went to the right side. In the FAI Cup final last November. Can he do it again? Yes, that's a fantastic strike. It's a very, very good penalty. It is Klepak. Klepak against the Nang. It's another fantastic save from Anang, and it's advantage, St. Patrick's Athletic. Score this, and we win. A huge opportunity, a huge moment for St. Patrick's Athletic. Gravosti to kick St. Patrick's Athletic into the next round. Fantastic save, fantastic save. It's a good save by Obradovic. But Pat's still in the ascendancy. If Anang saves this, they're true. Well, he tried to do the right thing of going low, but just a little bit too close to the goalkeeper. They thought it was in for a second. So did I, I have to say. It's not. Schroeder against Anang. He has to score this, the pressure all on him. We are going to sudden death. It's a brilliant penalty. Cracking penalty, wasn't it? Absolutely no chance for Joseph Anang. And as you say, Oshin, what I would do if I was Timmerman's there is stand over the ball until he's finished and place my ball the way down again. Timmerman's. Oh, that is confident and cool. It's a superb penalty. Right into the side Jeez. netting. Worth another look. And Nang against Beganovic. He has to score. Which he has. They're going over the bar, but it's a, a very well taken penalty by Beganovic. Newer score, then Moura march on. If he scores a Moura miss, then St. Patrick's Athletic go to the third qualifying round in the Europa Conference League. Another fine penalty. They are really responding to the pressure, aren't they? This is tough. They're away from home in Europe. It's not a lottery, but it is a test of your mentality as much as your skill. It's a fantastic penalty. Opens his body up really well to slot at home by criticism. Doesn't look overly confident. Obradovic. Oh, so, so close. To do. Stood tall. But the power behind it just brought it through. And Ang. So. Unlucky. It was almost too close to him, if that makes any sense. Captain's armband. Another good penalty. 
calm as you like. Still thinking about that one that clipped off his wrist or his hand and still went in. If he was to score this. Sipo against Denang. He's missed and the Saints go marching on in Europe. It's a wonderful, wonderful night for St. Patrick's Athletic. And Danang, well, he didn't save that when he watched it sky over, but he did his bit during the game. He did his bit during the penalty shootout. And Tim Clancy, a rookie manager in European terms, guides his team to the next round. The players deserve huge credit for their performance over the two legs, so Shane. It's a magnificent achievement to be able to do this at such a big stage. Mura, who were in the Europa Conference League last year, defeating Tottenham Hotspur. Lou and Vitesse Arnhem are in the group stages with them as well. And to be able to come out here to Slovenia and defend so resolutely at nil all for the 120 minutes and to go into the penalty shootout up against it. Unbelievable stuff from Tim Clancy's players and staff to get through this game.